The National Ambulance Service, since its inception, has been able to increase the number of ambulances stationed from seven in the military regions to 296 nationwide. The government recently provided ambulances to all the 275 constituencies to improve emergency health care service. Speaking at in King Council during the passing out of some advanced emergency medical technicians, Health Minister Designate Kwekwajima Menu said the government will do more to support the Ghana Ambulance Service. With regards to inadequate fleet of ambulances, the seventh parliament, before its dissolution, approved a loan facility for the government to procure more ambulances to augment the fleet of the service. To be very specific, a hundred more ambulances will soon be added to the 307 which were distributed in the first term of His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Akufuado. The current major challenges yet to be tackled are the lack of adequate infrastructure and capacity building facilities at the paramedic and emergency care training school. Nana, all efforts will be made by the government for the upgrade and construction of the required facilities as you have requested and as my colleague the MP continues also to reiterate. With Ghana recording more active cases of COVID-19 in recent times, the National Ambulance Service says it has put in place adequate structures to attend all emergency cases as the country experiences a surge. Chief Executive Officer of the service, Professor Ahmed Nuhu Zakaria, said although specific ambulances have been assigned to COVID-19 cases, they are dedicating some resources and effort towards the disease. Uh, in the forefront of the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic, and if you look at the nature of our operations, even beyond the pandemic, we are supposed to provide everyday emergency care services. And more than ever, this is the time that our services are even more needed. And so what we normally do is we have a dedicated team in all the regions just for COVID. In that regard, they don't um, combine their operations with the everyday emergencies. Because you will realize that the pre-hospital emergency system can either be a system to prevent the spread or even be a contributory factor. And therefore, we don't want a situation where you are using the same ambulances that you'll be using to respond to COVID cases and also respond to normal cases. So in every region, the regional administrators and the regional coordinators have been able to assign certain ambulances dedicated solely for the combat of the pandemic. Some graduates who spoke to City News expressed confidence that their training will help them contribute significantly towards the provision of emergency health care services in the country. I'm going to I made the basic requirements. I, I joined the service with um, my senior high as a basic uh, EMT, and then after which I enrolled to the university. After graduation, um, I had my first degree, and then that was the requirement for the advanced, uh, what do you call it, course, which of course by God's grace I was um, enrolled in the program, and today God bless me, um, I've graduated as an advanced emergency medical technician. From the training school of National Ambulance Services in King Council, National Virginia. My name is Alex Trovekwashi for City News.